Hi, my name is Akshaya Ravichandran and today I'm going to do a small demo on how you can egress uh, data into a file system with B360 FEP connector in MDM SAS. So let's see what we're going to talk about today, which is about what is and why the egress process is needed, the prerequisites, how to configure the job definition in MDM B360 console the different export types and the options to trigger and monitor the egress job. So what and why an egress? An egress is basically an export of your data from applications like C360 or Product360 or MBM360 and loads that exported data into a target data source of your choice. In this, I will be showing only the customer 360, uh, using customer 360 business entities. So after mastering your data, users can export this mastered data to any external data source as per your business requirement. Here for this purpose of demo, I'm going to use a CSV or a flat file as the target um, uh, source. And a good example of an egress would be, let's say your company uses customer 360 to master your data, uh, but then your uh, marketing and sales team do not have access to this customer 360 ui but they want the data right so your mdm data stewards once they are mastered and loaded the data they can use this egress uh, job or process to export that master data into an excel or tableau which is more convenient for their marketing and sales team for their analysis so this is a, a very common use case of how and when in egress uh, would be used and it consists of two steps a stage and an extract step so what are the prerequisites the very first is you need to decide upon the source and the target and here the source would be a b360 feb connector and um, next you need to have a secure agent installed and downloaded and up and running uh, and which is valid so you you're running your task can be run on that and then the third step is you need to create your um, mapping and mapping task on this CDI or the data integration portion of the SAS. So this uh, will be shown in the demo. And then after that, after creating your mapping task and task flow, you will have to configure the MDM job definition. So for that, you need to go to B360 console and click on the egress job. And in the process name is called MDM egress. And here you have these options of choosing what record states you want to ingress, whether you want a valid uh, record or invalid record or both, or active record or deleted or both. And then there are different export types. And uh, there's also an option where you can choose the um, to export only master data or source, which is extra data. Uh, each job definition can only export one type. So here you cannot choose both. It has to be either master or extra. If you want extra, then you'll have to create a new job definition and choose a source for extra data. And by default, all source systems uh, will be selected. So if you do not want any particular source system, you'll have to uncheck them by clicking on this X, which will remove the source system you're not interested in. So once you save it, you can click on run to execute this job from the UI. Apart uh, from that, there are the three export types, right? So to highlight a bit more on that, we have standard, custom, and export all. A standard export is when, let's say you have 30 records today, tomorrow, and then you egress those 30 records, uh, right? And tomorrow you update, let's say only 15 of those 30 records, and you want to do an export of only the Delta, then you will use a standard export. A custom export is, the same thing as a standard, but it is uh, after a particular date. So for example, let's say today you um, have 30 records and a week later you added 30 more records. And if you only want the records added uh, after two days, you can choose that date. So only those records added after that particular date will be exported. And then the third is the export all, which will export all no matter the date or the time or the delta. Every time it'll export, let's say you have 30 records today, tomorrow you add a million, it'll always export, uh, tomorrow it'll export the million and 30 records altogether. And the options to trigger is, as we discussed, the first one is through the console. After creating the job definition, you can click on run. And the second way is through an API where you will make a post call 
and this will look like this where this is all a keyword and egress is a keyword with the body as the job definition id and then in the response you will get the new job id that was kickstarted uh how do you um also monitor this job right if you kick start it by our api we also have an api for that where you will pass the job by instance id and session id and that will tell you whether the job completed or not through the ai and obviously the other method is through the b360 ui console as well so let's get into the demo so in the first step you will have to uh, have the secure agent right so i'm come to administrator go to runtime environments and here you need to ensure that this dis data integration server is up and running for egress the others uh, are not uh, valid here that's why it's okay if these are uh, under error right and then then i will go to data integration and i will create my mapping first so so I have the source um, and I will need to choose my source which is business 360 FAP and then I will need to select my object. So mine is a business entity but it's a custom asset so I will go to custom assets business entity and I will choose my entity here. Once chosen, uh, this is the root of the entity. Uh, address, email, email, subscription are all the uh, field groups. So let me just choose the root here for now. And then I will go to target. Uh, go to target. And here choose the connection, which is a flat file. Right? Um, and then you will... Yeah, so here this, I can either choose one of the existing file IDs or I can choose create new at runtime, which will create a new file name at runtime, right? And you can give the extension and click OK. And then once, uh, you can also test your connection here. So click on view, test. Right, and click on this test it says test is successful this this uh, tells me that my secure agent is perfect and also my connection is valid to go once I click save this mapping it will get validated and now it turns valid so how did I get this connection is through my connection so once you have the agent running you will have to come and create a new connection and here this is my FEP connector that I have created and um, Right, so business 360 FEP connector is the type, right? And job instance is the runtime parameter. And the other one, which was a flat file, here you will be prompted to give the location of your flat file. So here I've chosen my local directory, which is SQL and dump data as my file. So that's why this is traversing through and it will be created under C dump data new file dot XLS. After the mapping is done, create your mapping task. Right, so you will need to choose a runtime environment and then the mapping, which is mapping 11. So click on this select and then next and save. This will become valid now, and then that's about for the mapping task. Uh, also mapping task you will be able to see the mapping image from your mapping over here right and then the third step is the task flow let's see create new task flow So there's a new task flow now and here I'm adding the data task, right? Uh, 
and then let's okay before that uh let's just click save for now so you'll have to go to your mapping and here um you need to add parameters right which is an in out parameter called the job instance id make sure that the i is capitalized right and click ok and then save which is of type string this is uh, crucial and important this is how the job instance id is passed so now let's go back to your mapping and in the start under input fields let's add So first click on the data task and you'll see that magnifying open. So click on, you need to choose the um, mapping task associated with that. So choose that and then um, hit save. Then come back to the start and uh, click on this plus sign which will um, add this line. So now here, one so once you've saved that click on input fields uh, click on this plus sign which will open the inert parameter add job instance id click on this edit button and then choose a field and then choose the field which is the job instance id okay so it is now added as an inert parameter similarly you will do the same thing for this one plus sign and then in our parameters job instance id uh, shouldn't be a content just edit this and uh, add as job instance id and then hit save and then also the data task one will have this job instance id so once this is done make sure to publish it for the sake of uh, time i have created the um, mapping task with uh, this one uh, all the sources are same but um, this source is a root source this is the field uh, which talks about the email like right so if you click on this you will see that i have created each uh, root going into one csv file like an email which is this one right going into one um, uh, excel file and then add address as another field group going into another excel file and then this is a mapping task for that so i've linked it so the same mapping will be visible here and then this is a task flow the start has a job instance id and then the data task associated has the job instance id as an input field and if you click on this it will go back to the mapping that we have linked right uh, so let me just discard the changes here so once these definitions are uh, created i will now go to my b360 console i will go to my job definition right uh, so you have to create job and click on egress create uh, oops. egress let's say or x root right uh, and here i am have to choose the process as i said choose mdm egress not rdm egress this is for your reference 360 only right and here i have the option of choosing both active and deleted and let me choose export all now here i will add the mapping task that i or the task flow that i created so click on task flow so this was the task flow egress acts just click anywhere on it right and select So automatically, once you select the task flow, the associated business entity is populated. 
and here you have the option of choosing or removing the source system you don't want and also whether I want master or extra if I'm going to choose master and I'm choosing all source systems and I, I can click save uh, and then run so I've already created this uh, job definition so I'm not going to create one again so I can go to job definition and look for egress Okay, so if you see it's already created let me open that up close this and then I can run this as soon as I hit run it will say this job and this is a job instance ID and I say click here it would have kick started this so let this run so now this job has finished running Right, success. It took about 55 seconds. Ignore the state, there's some uh, local cache there. So, if you see, it has uh, egress 10 records or stage 10 records and also extracted 10 records with zero error. And if you come back to C360, let's uh, see how many records are there in Orgax. Um, you will see there are eight records, but why do you see 10? Um, that difference is because let's go to our um, egress output and open this up so if you go to our c dump data this is where the three files were extracted and opening those files you will see that the root has nine uh, entries but minus one eight and then there is one email entry and there is one address entry so that's why it's eight plus one plus one which is ten records have been um, extracted so hence um, that's what you see on the ui as well as 10. so now let's also trigger this uh, job using postman so if you open postman uh, let's go to morning trigger job uh, this is the id so let me get the session id the session id and let me trigger this job now uh, right. so now this is the job id i will copy this and go to this monitor job and paste this over here and i will click send so you will see that this we scroll down these are metrics and it says it is running and again if you go back to the ui and refresh it will say running and this is the job id that we just copied as well so it is doing the extracts phase Mm. so again i'm clicking a send here which is it's running and already records process this 10 which is that stage step right it has completed stage um this is still running this is still running it's doing the extract it takes about a minute so this is done and let's again send this now if you scroll down it says success so this matches uh, with what we see on the UI and it's real time right so that's it for the demo uh, thank you so much and uh, hopefully this was uh, informative and uh, helped you so we'd love to hear from you if you have any feedback do research, reach out to us at support videos at Informatica or at Twitter for your feedback thank you